Hello, I'm Drew Meal. I'm with Solar Light Company, and this video is a discussion on the software requirements for running current voltage characteristics using the Keithley 2400 Source Measurement Union Unit and the Lab Tracer software, which we'll be using version 2.8. And a few, dis a few points to make before installing Lab Tracer. I'd like to recommend that you get your system that should be running XP, Windows XP, with the Service Pack 3, and make sure that all the latest updates have been applied. I'd also like to recommend that uh, while doing the install, not to run any other programs and to make sure that the memory has cleared any other unnecessary uh, uh, system operations. And you may be prompted to restart the system several times during the install of these three components. The three components are the uh, .NET from Windows. The, the uh, installation executable is .NET FX.exe. And then you would need to run the LabVIEW runtime, version 7.0 or higher, and the executable is called lvruntimeeng.exe and you also need a copy uh, to install uh, Visa 3.1 or higher and the executable and that we ship with the unit is uh, Visa 441full.exe once all those three components have been installed into the system and the proper uh, rebootings have been applied then it's time to load the KUSB 488 drivers, which depending on your system, you may need to use either the 64-bit uh, or the 32-bit systems. Uh, we found that we had to run the 32-bit uh, version, which is uh, the Keithley command compatible driver. This driver has to be installed, and all of these steps would have to be applied prior to plugging in the USB from the 488 conversion cable. At this point, uh, once the drivers are in place and the other supporting documentation and in installation components have been applied, then the Lab Tracer, which we recommend using version 2.8, can be installed uh, using the setup.exe executable, which there may be another reboot and restart after that. Once that has been completed, then the USB can be put back into the system. Uh, there may be another search for the driver <coughs> and the, uh, there may be a system restore. Uh, so it may be, uh, appear to be doing the installation of the driver twice, but be patient. Uh, once you get the message, new hardware has been found and ready to use, then it's ready to go. This completes the part of the software installation of this phase. Thank you.